Hello everyone, I am Akash, Founder and Director of Prime Institute of Mathematics, Amravati. In this video, I am going to discuss one true-false question which is asked in a TIFR 2023 mathematics exam. Question is, let G be a group generated by two elements x and y each of order 2, then G is finite. We have to check whether this statement is true or false. Answer of this question is false. That is, this given statement is false. To say this, we will construct a group G generated by two elements x and y each of order 2, but G is infinite group. Okay, that is, we will construct infinite group generated by two elements x and y each of order 2. So, let us construct this group. Let G be the d infinity that is dihedral group of infinite order. This group has representation group generated by x comma y such that x square is identity and y square is identity. Another representation which is most commonly used is group generated by r comma s such that r square is identity and s r s equals to r inverse. These are most common representation used for the infinity group. Okay. But we will use another model of this group which is isomorphic to this one. We will use the model consisting of matrices for simplicity. So consider the matrices x, consider the matrix x with entries minus 1, 0, 0, 1 and another matrix with entries minus 1, minus 1, 0, 1. Now consider x square. What will be the x square? x square will be the matrix just perform ordinary matrix multiplication first row into first column that is 1, first row into second column that is 0, second row into first column that is 0 times minus 1 plus 1 times 0 that is 0, second row into second column that is 1. So we see that x square is the identity matrix which is the requirement here. So this implies x belongs to G and order of x is 2 okay? because 2 is a least positive integer such so that x times x is the identity matrix. Okay? Now consider the matrix y square. y square will be the matrix first row into first column that is 1, first row into second column minus 1 times minus 1 plus minus 1 times plus 1 that is 0, second row into first column 0, second row into second column again 1. So we see that y square is again an identity matrix which is also required, y square is identity. So this implies y belongs to G and order of y is 2 because 2 is a least positive integer such that y times y is identity. So we have found two elements x comma y of g such that order of x is 2 and order of y is 2 that is x square is identity and y square is identity. Okay. What will be the other elements of this group? Any element of this group will be the combination of x and y that is will be generated with the help of x comma y x and y. For example, other elements of these groups will be of form x, y, x, y, x, x, y, x, y, x, y, y, x, y, x, x, y, etc. These are the sum of the elements of this group. Okay. We will claim that this group G generated by x, y is infinite. To say this, we will construct, we will found element, some element of this group which has infinite order. Consider the element x, y. Since x belongs to G and y belongs to G, x, y must belong to group G. Okay. What will the element x, y? Perform the matrix multiplication. x is this matrix, y is this matrix. 
So x5 is the matrix. First row into first column 1. First row into second column 1. Second row into first column 0. Second row into second column 1. So x5 will be the matrix with entries 1, 1, 0, 1. Okay. By closure property of group, since x belongs to G and y belongs to G, x5 must belong to G. Okay. To, form, uh, to find order of x, y, we will repeatedly operate x, y with itself. That is, we will cons consider x, y times x, y. What will be this matrix? x, y times x, y. That is, this matrix times this matrix. What will be the L matrix? First row into first column. That is, 1 times 1 plus 1 times 0. That is, 1. First row into second column. 1 times 1 plus 1 times 1, that is 2, 0, 1. So, 2 times xy is the matrix this. By closure axiom, as xy belongs to g, so xy times xy belongs to g. In general, xy times xy times and so on, xy, that is n times is the matrix with entries 1, n, 0, 1, which is not equal to the identity matrix. Okay. So, there does not exist a positive integer n such that n times x, y is the identity matrix. So, the element x, y must be of infinite order. Thus, we have found an element of group G which has infinite order this implies the group g must be of infinite order because if group is finite then all elements of the group must have finite order because order of element divides order of group so here as we have found element of g which has infinite order so order of g must be infinite so we have found an infinite group g which is generated by two elements x and y each of order 2. So, given statement must be false. Thank you for watching.